Now, I know a lot of you guys, my audience, don't have magic powers, and that's okay. If you do, by the way, let me know in the comments of the section, but a lot of your cars do. I mean, what is it like to wake up in the morning and realize that your car that was in the garage all along has extra range? For free, extra miles of range. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm actually asking because I don't know. I'm a, I'm a vault owner now, so I'm not privileged to this kind of magic. But I'm assuming it kind of means uh, it kind of feels like um, getting a Subway sandwich meal and like paying for it and realizing that it comes with a free cookie. And I get excited about a free cookie even though I can't even have cookies because I'm gluten free. So I give it to somebody in line behind me, um, especially if they have kids or whatever. So it's kind of my paid forward kind of a, you know, good deed of the day. But anyway, I think it's really cool. This is not something you can do with gas cars. The gas cars don't get any better um, unless you bought some classic car from the 60s or whatever. But uh, genuinely, they just only get worse. That's not always the case with electric cars and specifically, the you know, Tesla has been doing it for a while. The latest Model 3 update of the air update is give, give, give it quite a few extra miles so as you can see the standard range now is uh is at 250 epa miles it was 220 if you remember so that's 30 extra miles but just like i said the tesla the tesla owners are getting a little bit spoiled and they're almost like i don't want to say expecting it but it's no longer kind of a big deal the cars are getting improved uh, regularly now i gotta say when i had a tesla there were a couple of times when they over the year update actually made them worse but Let's not talk about that. I, I, I have enough of to talk about stuff in, in therapy uh, this week as is. But there are now other manufacturers are starting to do the same thing. And I think this is a great thing. You know, Tesla, once again, is dragging everybody else into this great um, universe of over the year updates and improving the cars. Now, one of them is Audi, which I actually really like. As a matter of fact, I drove it in Spain earlier this year. Really, really, really beautiful scenery and everything. Um, there's my selfie, but uh, I digress. I, I, this is not a travel channel. I don't have to show you my travel pictures, but I really like the car. And now they've announced that they're actually adding a little bit of extra range. I think it's about equivalent of about 10 uh, EPA miles. And this is for their e-tron and also for their Sportback. This is their second electric car that they've unveiled um, this year at the LA Auto Show. As a matter of fact, this is the footage from their actual unveiling in Los Angeles. I think one of the better looking unveilings, like the light show was really cool and, and just the whole event was really cool. But you know, the difference, and by the way, if you're asking uh, between a Sportback and the e-tron is essentially the shell, right? It's more sporty, a cool, I guess, uh, kind of a car. I like both of them. And, you know, a lot of people give them a lot of crap because, you know, their range just came out way lower than they expected and we all expected and came out at about 204 miles. So now once they get that updated, it's going to be a little bit more decent. But the whole point is that this car is going to be getting better. Now, in this case, it's not over their update that's doing it. It's actually some of their technologies that they've approved over time. And now they're comfortable, uh, you know, releasing a better range, but also decreasing that buffer because they had a huge battery buffer, uh, the sort of unusable uh, a battery power that they kind of protecting the integrity of the battery, which I understand, but they are now more comfortable releasing it. So Audi e-tron is going to be getting better range from now on, including the Sportback version. All right. But there's another car that's got an even better update and we kind of all forgot about, can you even guess which car I'm talking about? I mean, unless you checked out the thumbnail of this video. Before that, of course, I want to uh, quickly remind you that this video and this channel is sponsored by Byton. Check out their all-electric SUV with over 300 miles of range. Don't forget to reserve one. It is absolutely free and really takes about a minute of your time. So if you haven't done that, I don't even know what you're waiting for. It is, I, you definitely want to make sure that you're in a queue uh, before it grows any further. So go to the description of this video. Click on that link and reserve your Byton today like the rest of us. All right, let's, so let's talk about what is this other new car. Well, it's really not new. As a matter of fact, I love the way this car looks, by the way. I still think this is the best looking SUV crossover, you want to call it, out there, especially in this color. Uh, they were also presenting it at the LA Auto Show, but they really almost made it. Like, I got to tell you, I just took a really good picture of it. I probably should have taken a big, like a picture from the far away. Maybe you saw it at my live feed when I was walking around. It's still on my channel. I just did a live feed from the like, auto show and, and showed you guys all of the electric cars there because uh, I'm a brand ambassador and, you know, I was there to present the electric car. So that's what I did. But it's a gray car on the gray, you know, part of the floor. And it's like they were almost trying to hide it. Oh, don't look at me. I'm an electric car. And, and their gas cars was front and center and a really beautiful car and stuff like that. 
So I don't really know why Jaguar is not really proud of it. It's a really nicely built car. It's a beautiful car. I'm not a fan of the wheel, as you know, but everything else is done really, really nicely. And by the way, which you don't see it in the shot because they like put it almost in the corner, are all design awards that it won. I wish I had a picture of it, but it was like so far away. It was also closer to some other models that they had, even though it was the iPaces award. So they're almost like not even proud of the awards of of the cars that anyway it was weird but i love this car and they are actually giving it some extra range and they're doing it kind of both they're doing it the software up, up, up update mainly uh but uh in you know moving forward they also have some technological advances that they're that they're putting into this car but this is mainly a software update and it will actually add almost 20 almost 20 epa miles to the I-Pace. Now, I-Pace already has 234 uh, EPA miles. So we're talking about, I think, 252 or three now. So it's a decent addition uh, and welcome addition as well, because you know, it's like, you know, I think 8% is 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 uh, what, uh, what the difference is going to be. And of course, the fact that it's done with the software that they're also improving their car is really, really good. Now, I do have to say that this is not a, the air, a software update, even though it is software update, you actually have to go to the dealership and have it installed for you. But part of this software upgrade is that in the future, you'll be able to get this over the year. I know it's a little complicated, but essentially, you're just going to have to bear with them. So I am excited about Jaguar doing this with their cars and Audi. And of course, Tesla will continue doing this. So hopefully the rest of the universe is going to follow soon. I get it. But but this is one of the things that I think people don't talk about, you know, maybe to their friends and family when they when they talk about how wonderful electric cars are, that one of these things is they get better with time because you can improve software without having to change the car like you would do with the gas cars. By the way, thank you to those of you who are watching me live on Patreon and supporting my channel. One of my uh, newer Patreons, G uh, Jim uh, Falbo, thank you so much for joining my Patreon community. I'm a full time doing this full time. So my Patreons and my sponsors are essentially how I uh, put the bread on my table. So I appreciate it. And as a perk, you guys get to watch this live. and. Uh, before everybody else sees it and all the announcements that you hear by the way i have one coming and of course my patreons will definitely be one of the first ones to know uh go to the description of this video if you want to join patreon.com slash e4 electric all right looking forward to, to all of your comments and all of your magic powers that you're going to list for me other than that see you next time and remember to stay charged